Hey guys, how's it going? It's Matt with Downrange Firearms Training. I uh, want to talk to you today real quick about a new product in the market. Um, a lot of guys out there are running the Sega 12 shotguns now, semi-automatic. Uh, they're easily converted to AK configuration. And the also latest trend in the, the shotgun world is the bullpups. Uh, there's that USAS 12 coming out, and obviously kel is the KSG, and they kind of corner the market in the bullpup shotgun. Um, this right here, I guess we can consider maybe a unicorn as far as shotguns go. Uh, very rarely seen. This is a Saiga 12 that was dropped into a Kushna Pup stock. Uh, the Kushna Pup stock, you know, made its way around the internet. Everybody thought it was just kind of internet lore that they were going to be coming out. Uh, I was lucky enough to get one thanks to the guys down at Black Forge Weapons in Florida. Um, the guys down there took the gun, my standard sporting Saiga 12, dropped it in the Kushna Pup stock. Uh, they nickel boron coated all the inside, polished up all the parts, make sure it runs right. Um, nice enough to throw a little SGM tactical Saber Boss uh, muzzle compensator on there for me. It's basically very little recoil with this gun. Um, in my eyes, I'm a big fan of semi-automatic shotguns as opposed to some of the pump guns. Uh, this is just cool. It looks like a space gun. It's a bullpup. It's a shotgun. It will take the 10 and 12 round stick mags. Um, It'll take the 12 round drums. Uh, you probably see pictures of it online with the 20 round drums. It will absolutely accept that. The only problem is the fact that wrapping your arm around it, uh, you gotta kinda have like huge giant arms, which I don't have. Um, but it's definitely a, a cool concept, something I've been testing for a little bit and kicking around um, at the range and stuff like that. It's probably gonna start show, showing up in a couple of classes we do. And you know, just wanna give you guys a quick peek at it because again, there were pictures online, uh, nobody really had them. I think I'm one of the first people in the country to actually have the gun completed. Um, so I want to give you guys a first look at it and we're gonna run some rounds through it and see how it works. All right guys, like I said, just gonna run a couple of uh, rounds on the barrel of my new Cushion of Pup Saiga 12, thanks to the guys at Black Forge. Um, 12 round drum, I got a 10 round stick mag. <clears throat> um, believe it or not, I've shot a lot of bullpup guns in the past, not really a fan of them. Uh, one reason being is the fact that the recoil, you're kind of taking everything back on the chin, kind of hurts. Um, this gun actually is pretty, pretty tame as far as recoil management goes. Um, it, it's, it's not as bad as some of the other guns I've shot. And it's just, I, again, like I said, pretty kind of cool space age design. Uh, using Remington two and three quarter inch sluggers. Uh, Mike from Black Forge threw a TAC-47 um, gas block on here, adjustable gas block. And basically what that does, it allows me to run everything in my Saiga 12. A lot of the guns are pretty picky as far as the slugs and buckshot and birdshot. Uh, I've tested a couple different rounds of this gun and so far it's run everything pretty well. All right, guys, so if you're interested in the Cushion of Pup, get in touch with Mike at Black Forge Weapons. Check him out on the web, www.blackforgeweapons.com. Go subscribe to our videos, like us on Facebook, drftraining.com, and remember, only hits count. Mm -hmm.